So, after that, let's move on to another topic, and this has to do with those Power 5 commissioners. The Power 5 conferences are asking Congress for timely help with the NIL, the name, image, likeness stuff. And that's kind of a, it's kind of an issue, right? Uh, Brett McMurphy tweeted this the other day. He said, in a three-page letter obtained by Stadium, Power 5 League commissioners asked Congress to, quote, enact clear national policy on name, image, likeness, and not wait for the NCAA process to conclude, and so there will be uniform national standard that will preempt state NIL laws. And I quote, time is of the essence. Now, one, Congress got a whole lot of other stuff going on. This doesn't seem like something that Congress really should have to worry about, etc., But I do understand where these Power 5 commissioners are coming from, right? Uh, They want it to be uniform across the board so that everybody understands what the rules are. And no, they don't want to wait on the NCAA because these conferences understand the NCAA drags their feet on everything. They've dragged their feet on this. Uh, Hang on now. Whoa, stop. We have to stop right here. They don't want to wait on the NCAA because the NCAA has told them we don't want to be the ones to make this decision. All right? It's not because – why do the NCAA drag their feet on things? Because they choose to. Yeah, they because they don't Not because they have to. Not because they want to. They're not, they're not held up by the court system of America that's backlogged. They pick and choose what they want to do. They could do this thing tomorrow if they wanted to. They don't want to do it, all right? And the reason they want Congress to do it is because – They got lobbyists that can pay those Congress to write the bill the way they want it, and then they get to blame Congress for it because if the NCAA writes the bill the way they want it, then we can't blame anybody. We all know it was the college commissioners and the NCAA that colluded to do this thing, to write this bill in a shitty way in which it doesn't really help the players the way we want it to help the players. Correct. right? You're making excuses for these people. We need to stop. We need to stop. The NCAA moves as fast as they want to move. They're a private organization, okay? Hire more people. They have endless amounts of funds coming their way, and they don't do anything. Now, do you agree that it would be better for Congress to come up with a solution Hell to this? Hell no. Why, Hell no. Why, why would you because not agree Congress, with that? Because Congress, A, Congress has their hands full already. B, Congress is completely inept and incapable of doing anything right unless they get their back scratched, okay? So, so who would you leave it up to? I would tell the NCAA, make a damn decision. This is what we want. This is what we're fighting for as players and make a damn decision. Do the right thing and let us go out here and get paid on our name, image, and likeness. Now, you have already said that the NCAA does not want to do this. Okay, so, but here's the problem. If they don't do it, then individual states can do it. That's what they really don't want. Right. Really, really don't want. That's but where it gets states complicated. can operate much better than the federal government. This is not something our federal government should be involved in. You you are probably right on that. You are probably I'm, right I'm on that. I'm certain I'm right on that. But Do you will, see how much they fuck up everything they touch? That yeah. I mean you yes. Yes, indeed. I do. They're completely inept at anything except for screwing over people and helping big money constituents. Well, what's the NCAA? A big money constituent. Lots of money, lots of lobbyists to write the bill the way they want it. And then we have a scapegoat. Everybody already hates Congress as it is. Now we can blame them for something else that they cock up. At the end of the day, somebody is going to get blamed for something or we could just write the bill correctly we could just let these people make money off their name image and likeness get all the dark money into the light and we could just not try to screw these kids because i can't believe a 19 year old might make two hundred thousand dollars ben jumped in and said i make twenty five thousand a year screw that person ben jumps in he said the ncaa has a huge ego and then uh, Ben said, does Chris hate the world? Um, no, no, I hate Congress, and I hate the NCAA. Yeah. Not the world. Those two people, yes, not the world. The bottom line here is they need something done. If you leave it up to the states, um, here we go. The Brown Yeti said the NCAA doesn't want to be the bad guy, and they're not willing to be the good guy. 
Um, that's that's the much problem it, yeah. we've got. And the the issue that the NCAA sees with this is they don't want it to become a recruiting advantage. Well, that is impossible. I, it is on, these I kids are already. I getting don't paid. either, which is why they should write the rule the way that should be written, which is not super complicated. We we can streamline this thing pretty well. I, I enjoyed listening to, uh, we talked about this a few weeks ago, Bubba Cunningham, the North Carolina uh, AD, talked about all the different ways, like without the, the students unionizing and whatnot, but figuring out a way to uh, allow the NCAA game on EA Sports to be made and everybody get paid the same for it. All these different features. Now, some of the stuff he was talking about was a little, you know, it, how much a, a scholarship is really worth for football players. Like it, get out of here with that. I, they, these kids need money in their pocket now. Like it's. I don't. I don't want to hear. You know, I want to hear made up numbers about scholarships. I made right, it clear already. Right. That's already funny money. They created an object and said, "Well, it's worth this much money." Bullshit! It didn't worth that much money. I can tell you that this that this pen I've got right here, this hammer, is 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 worth four thousand dollars. What? It's not. Nobody would pay four thousand dollars for that. Exactly. So the issue that we're running into is. They need a set standard. It needs to be the same across the board if we are going to have the same rules for everybody. California having a different rule where anything goes and a state like Kentucky not having anything at all, that becomes a major league issue, right? But here's the issue. You can fix this real easy. Whatever the first county is, state is, that puts out the rule, everybody else just make the same rule and pass it. Like, this is not that hard. Yeah, Every conference, every area that has Power 5 school, every state that hosts a Power 5 football team would instantly pass that rule. Not one state would fight it. Not one state would. What the problem would be is is California passed theirs, and then Alabama's like, we're going to bump that bitch. And then Louisiana's like, oh, we're going to bump that. Thing. And, and, and so you do kind of want them all to, to kind of agree we're going to do this, which is why the NCAA should just – figure out a good rule and do it. But they don't. They want to find a way to pay the players as little as they can possibly pay them, but appease them. And that's not what is right. It's just not. You make so much money. And here's the thing. All the money you make won't be affected by these guys getting outside endorsement deals. That's what I was about to say. This like, is It's not like when if we were to pay Trevor Lawrence $500,000 this year because State Farm says, I want that guy. It, that doesn't take one red penny away from the NCAA. No, it it's actually not helps. Like State Farm's not going to uh, sponsor them or any other insurance company or whoever else it is. Let him make his money. Yeah. Uh, he Damian, has a value right now. Damien jumps in on, on YouTube. He says the NCAA equals MLB. Oh, they're not. Uh, I don't know that that's the same. Well, hey, I'll tell you this. The NCAA is far worse than MLB owners. I don't know. I don't know what you're to there. They're far worse. They are the worst period organization period in our country. That's not government. Yeah. Yeah. They I, are the worst private organization in our country. And, and that's yet, insurance companies, that's big pharma, NCAA, worse than all those guys because they take advantage of poor college students. They were originally established for nothing but the safety and welfare of college student athletes. And you know what? They're so bad at their job. An entire second organization had to be founded to take over that job because they had derelicted their duty of it. They're completely inept at what they do. Yeah, it, it completely t- – their mission statement initially was to protect and serve the student-athletes. Um, and yet, you know, at, <laughs> Brown Yeti jumps in. He said, uh, I think Trevor is more of an all-state guy. And Ben jumps in. He said, why can't schools have more say in what the NCAA does? That's the issue. The schools do have the say in what the NCAA does. The schools and the presidents of those schools created – the NCAA, and they are the ones that make up the membership institution. They, the schools don't want these kids getting paid. You're you're talking about the school presidents, not the athletic directors. Correct. That is that's the situation here. Uh, Matt Miller said they are literally created because football players were dying in the early 1900s. Yeah. Yes, they, they were That's created, they created. To now protect. we have players dying right now every year in college football, most of them in division like 3A small schools and the NCA 
does not give a damn. They don't care. Yeah. This whole thing is is bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, but I, I do not think we need to leave it to Congress. Congress has cocked up everything they have touched. At some point in time, it will become a red state, blue state issue. And then if your school is in a blue state and this school is in a red state, we no longer can play football together, and we're going to end up with two NCAAs and two organizations because that's, that's what I'm afraid we'll, of. we'll politicize the shit out of it if we let Congress do it. it. It'll just get so cocked up and run through that meal. Plus, they're going to take their 30%, put it in their pocket, by the way, because that's how they operate. Well, I mean, it, all of this money would be taxed anyway. I mean, this is not like yes, nonprofit but NCAA. I'm talking money. about money going to lobbyists to pay these people to do what they want them to, to do their bidding. You think these Congress people are going to just do this on their own goodwill? Really? I mean, yeah, okay, you've got a valid point. You've got a valid point. Um, That's how these sons of bitches work. I would be interested. Uh, Justin Miller jumps in, said, uh, if y'all are interested in playing basketball on Saturday morning, hit me up. I, I might actually hit him up. Uh, his body do don't play basketball no more. That's my, Mine is in a little better shape than it has been. Um, his knees don't, don't do I, that. I would prefer that somebody come up with a good solution across the board. I'm okay with that. That's what I want. That's that's what. But there's we no need reason the NCAA couldn't do that. There's no reason that the 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 group that that Lynn Bias is a part of can do that. Like there's there's no Lynn there's no Simon? reason. Yeah, Simon. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, but he yeah. he's only Simon. he's only doing the SB two hundred six in California. Like he's he's only a part no, of that. No, his organization that the group. NCPA? Well, but the, yes. but the the NCPA doesn't work with the NCAA. Like they don't work with. That bunch, but they could definitely uh, send they could over help a write the bill. They yeah. could help give input on things because if they don't get what they want, then they could be a thorn in their side and fight them constantly. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of people that aren't attacked. Who do you think is going to write the bill if we let Congress do it? Congress isn't going to write the bill. Somebody's no. going to hand them a bill and they're going to sign it. Yeah, because they were paid uh, to sign it. The Brown Yeti said, "Will state? Oh no, hold, hold on. Let me get it in order." Matt Miller said, "The Power Five just needs to assign a commissioner and disband from the NCAA." That. We're we're not too far away from that happening. I'm not, that I'm happen. not opposed to that. Anything anything that puts a bullet in the head of, of the NCAA, I'm fine with. At the same time, though, you've still got that 65 teams that are in the Power Five. You've I would make the Power Five bigger than what it is. You'd, you'd take in a bunch of those G5 schools. It would just be bigger. The, the American would leave them also I and, and, and pack in. I mean, I, I don't know that the American would be able to do that. They don't have the same resources that the P5 does. Um you're, you're talking about doing you'd this figure, you figure it out. You would, I promise you you'd figure it out. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. Like, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to that. I think that, you know, no. P5 schools playing only P5 schools, like, I'm the one that's talked about that. Like, yeah. At, now, at you just make time, all P5 conferences, 16-team conferences. You absorb the best of the, the G5s that, that don't make it. And the rest of those guys are in a socialized program. All these P5 schools that survived, that everybody has to pay $2 million a year towards the athletic funds of those other smaller schools. That's uh, just, it's just, it's just that it's just, yeah, there's a way to work this thing out where you can put a bullet in the head of the NCAA and move on, create something new. Damian Estrada says, uh, NCAA is treating these student athletes like the NFL treated Kaepernick. Uh, the Brown Yeti said, and, and I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think that's exactly what's going on here. Uh, Ben said, well, Cap kind of chose to get what he got. And eh, we're not going to get into that either. The Brown Yeti said, "Will states with no state taxes have an advantage if the players start to get paid?" Um, hey, on that, we we can't argue about taxes, okay? Look, look, look. The, we're the we're tax not going to do. We're just not going to do that. Like, yeah, you can go down any kind of rabbit hole you want to. Everybody but, pays federal taxes and state taxes. Yes, California is substantially higher than places like Texas and and, and Tennessee. Okay. Yes, you're 100 percent right on that. But we can't argue tax laws and 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 stuff. Well, if Lee, you choose Lee, to, if you can make money through wherever entities you're making money from, and you negotiate a thirty thousand dollar deal, and it's taxed more because you live in California, yeah, you also get to go to the beach every day. And if you live in the state of Tennessee, uh, tough shit. Now you might have a creek somewhere that you might be able to go visit. Uh, yeah, it, like that's just that's just kind of the cost of living in some of these places. The, the situation isn't so much the tax stuff. We can leave all the tax crap out of it. The issue is right now, not every state has implemented this. Not every state is pushing this through. No. 
No, so we, you are we going need to universal have... rule across the board. We do right. need universal rule across the board. I agree on that. That's where the advantage comes in. California, you can make whatever money you want to. The issue right now is if you take that money, what is the NCAA going to do? Like, the, the California state law is saying they can't do anything to you. Fuck them. But, uh, you know, we got we to gotta watch it on the F-bombs, by the way. <laughs> I don't mean to call you out. Every time you say something, we drop viewers. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but the you've only done it twice today, and we've lost like five viewers every time you do it. Just saying. So, <laughs> and it, I don't know why. I don't know what's happening, but it it's dropping. Well, We're, don't defend the NCAA, and I won't cuss them. There you go. Okay, I can how understand. About, how about we make that agreement? I'm, I'm not. You don't ever defend. Them I didn't defend I the NCAA. I wasn't defending. Yes, you did. Them. You were making it. You spent five minutes making a making an excuse for why they can't do this, and Congress should have no, to. No, no, no. I was saying the P five wants Congress to do it. I was saying the NCAA drags their feet on whatever they want to drag their feet but on. That's, that's their what they choice. Do. That's not. A, that's not a fault of anybody else. The fault of them and their organization. <laughs> and Vince said, "Nah, Chris, keep it real. Look, do whatever you want to do." I'm just I'm trying no, to keep it. I don't want I don't want to turn anybody off from the show. I don't I don't that's not my goal. It's never my goal. So I, I know you get fired up about this stuff. We bring up this uh, Matt Miller said, Chris, I like the F bombs, but I hate the NCAA, so don't make me defend the NCAA to make you drop F bombs. There you go. Simple enough. Uh no, we look, we both hate the NCAA. That's that's been our stance but on I don't this make issue. excuses for them. I call them out on their bull. That's all. Like, okay. like, because somebody is bad at their job is not a reason to give their job to somebody else unless we're going to fire them completely from their job. But but what I'm saying is the NCAA stuff, I, whether it be the NCAA or Congress, one or the other, those are both over the entire thing. The con- Congress is over all 50 states, right? The NCAA is over all 130 schools. Well, we Somebody really step about, up and do it. Oh, I don't the trust states. the NCAA the to do it. Uh, well, but I don't trust Congress to do it either because Congress is going to do the exact same thing the NCAA is going to do because that's what they're going to be paid to do. Then Gary, we are that's screwed. how laws work in this country. Other people write them, hand them to the Congress people with cash, and they sign the bill. I understand that. I know then that. Then why do you think we're going to get a different outcome if Congress does it? Because for whatever reason, I think that more people would be willing to write that bill and it no. would be approved. That, that's just not true. No, because no I don't. I think be the NCAA would sit on it. Damien said, raw and uncensored, we need more of that. Matt Miller said, how hard is it to treat student athletes to get the right of normal students? Any other student can make money from image, likeness, et cetera. 100%. Yes. The, the, who is it that uh, is always if talking you're, about If you're a science like, student, okay, and you're doing no, no, research, let's, let's I have this. a friend of mine right now that's doing research at Stanford, okay? Really smart kid, smartest kid I've ever met in my life. All right, doing cancer research at science. If he cures cancer while working for Stanford, yes, Stanford is going to get a massive bump from that. They will get a large sum of money from that. Also, Logan is going to get an obscene amount of money for the rest of his life for that. Yes. All right? Look at it from from. It, How is that from any a different than a football player? Look How at, is that any different than a basketball player? Look, because it, you're talking about scientists and, and everything else. Let's look at it. No, from I'm a talking com- about them spending money, Chris, investing in these people, I and then the school profiting from that investment. He also profits from that investment. Let's look at it from a competition standpoint. If Taylor Swift attended Vanderbilt University, Okay. Right in Nashville. She was already in Nashville and she was in the choir where they have competitions. They have, you know, whatever else in choir. If she signed a record deal and still wanted to be in choir, there is no issue with that. Why is it different in football, basketball, et cetera? It's literally That's, the exact same contract I just said, the, 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 the thing I said. But there's no competition in, in science. Like, that's just, you're trying you to better the human race. You're trying science, to... you haven't been paying attention. Do they actually have science competitions? No, it's not about competition. It's the first one to get the right answer gets paid gazillions of dollars. Right. Yes, they do have science competition in college? Yes. And my wife just jumped in. She's a science teacher. It's something called Science Olympiads. Science Olympics. He aced it twice. Gold medals. Logan Leak, look him up. He's a genius. Here, come here. Come here. No, come here. Come here. 
My wife is a science teacher. I'm going to let her jump on and explain what is what this is. Because I have no idea. I was trying to explain. I one just thing. told She's you what it was. You don't want to listen to me? No, I wanted her to. Come here. Come on. That, of course Chris is upset with me. That Chris is upset with me every single day. I'm just saying. That is not true. That is not true at all. Science fair. She can't hear me because you put them things in your ears. There's prize money, et cetera, for, and, and this is college. I think it's like scholarships. It's like scholarships it's like and everything else. Okay. It's a little different, but it, it, okay. I'm, I'm with you. I understand where y'all are coming from. Chris, it's not that I didn't trust you. I just don't know. I don't know. I, I had no idea. At the end of the day, there's billions of dollars at stake. Billions of dollars at stake in research. This is what we're talking yeah. about, right? We're talking about money, right? Who cares if it's a goal or a cure? It doesn't matter. There's uh, billions of dollars at stake in both industries. Ben said, yes, there's competition in pharmaceutical companies right now for the coronavirus vaccine right now. Yes. Yeah, but that's, you're, he said companies, like pharmaceutical companies. Like, no, but it's still, it's still students. Are invest, there was a school yeah. in North Carolina that was really close to getting the vaccine. If you're the one that gets the vaccine, trust me, you are a winner. Yeah, winner massive, with massive dollar money. signs. We can, we can probably jump off this. Um <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't mean for this to go as, uh, to go as long as it did. But, yes, uh, the, the P5, the NCAA, all of this mess, just get it sorted out. Like, uh, we are so tired of this. Um, and, and the P5 Don't reaching out. on somebody else. It's your job. It's a hard job to do. Yes. You took it on, Mark Emmert. Yeah. You can walk away any moment at any time. If you don't want to do it, but don't pawn it off to somebody else. That paycheck's real, real nice, though. Boy but then you gotta earn it. Do something for it. He he feels like he earns it by getting yelled at. Do something hard.